Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, the Rata Pańska International Nail Artist and Educator and today we are going to create a beautiful spring design. You can have a wee preview of it in here. So nothing over the top, looks absolutely fantastic and I hope you will really enjoy doing and recreating those nails the same way I did it. Let's start! We are going to start with the background first. So I've got my tip in red here and um, I have done quite a few ombres already. There is also a tutorial on how to do the ombre in different ways. So today I will show you on the different one, uh, just on the one tip and then we can uh, do the design on top of it which will imitate uh, some easter eggs and I think it's pretty cool. So on this one we are going to glow, uh, go with the um, uh, blue and the color I'm using for a blue is 220. And then the next one is going to be at 219. And that's a really nice color combination. And as a last one on the top, we will use uh, 200. So that's a sugar rush. The colors which are stronger, you want to have just a little bit of it, so you can see it in proportion. Um, I've got just a tiny bit of it. And for this technique, we will use some uh, makeup sponge, and I've got this makeup sponge on the piece of the um, uh, form, sculpting form, and then we will just start blending it. So I had some green color in here, and I will try to avoid it, this green color. I have used it for previous ones, so you just dab it in. And you go up and down, up and down, up and down. And then move into the top part. Up and down, up and down. Those kind of dabbing motion. Okay, and this way we have created uh, our ombre. We have to now sprinkle it with some acrylic powder. So I'm using a clear acrylic powder and I'm just going to sprinkle over it. That will allow us to do the ombre in less layers. It's a really helpful tip, guys. Tap to remove the excess and then cut it. In the meantime, into our mixing palette, we are going to prepare the colors we will need uh, to design this uh, this nail, so I'm just going to quickly clean my mixing palette. And when my tip is curing, I'm preparing the colors. So I will be using the same colors which I had in here, which was 233. I just need a scoop of this color. And then I need those uh, 234. And the last one for this tip. 178. Okay, so that's that's the three colors I have used for this ombre. Then we also need the colors which I have used for this ombre. So that was the yellow, which we already got in here, the mint color, which is 236. Okay, my tip has cured. So to save your time, I'm just going to put small drop again of this color, the violet one, quite a decent drop this time, and then the blue one. Go back into my sponge. Okay, 
and start blending. Because we have put this clear acrylic powder, the blending, you can see it, the um, is so much easier, so much quicker. Obviously, the more motions you do, the nicer blending you will get. But always keep a uh, sponge on the form or a cellar tape because otherwise you will have like those dirty fluffy bits and pieces and we don't want that. Now I can cure my tip, get rid of the sponge, get rid of the acrylic because we don't need it anymore. For the acrylic powder I'm just going to clean it because otherwise everything is going to slide. And the next color, which we was used for this one, so that was yellow, mint, and then this blue. Okay, so that's... Then we had this one, so that was yellow, mint, a blue, and then um, sugar rush. Okay, so you know how this one was created. Then this one was a mint, blue, sugar rush and this one is ready so i'm going to apply the matte top coat over it okay so matte top coat over it and that's the way how i've created all the ombres so cook it in now and let's move into the designs let me find the right brush. So that's the detailer, we will use it. And I'm looking for a D-liner as well, which we will use it. I may actually show you the difference, guys, as well, in between those two brushes. So, the detailer and D-liner. So we can see it the difference in the length on those two brushes. Okay, let's start painting those design. So on this one, I'm going to start uh, using those yellow color first. So I'm just picking up the yellow color. Uh, let me, it just tends to split. <laughs> I have wrecked the brush. Sorry guys, searching for the good one. Maybe we are. That's my problem. I sometimes leave them in the sun and the room is so sunny that it's make it cured. So on this one, I'm going to use this yellow first. And just paint a wee line. And then some leaves. Basically, I want to use the same colors which we have done for the ombre. On the top part, we are going to use this orange one. And at the same time, I'm just going to gently fade this leaf here with this touch of the orange. And the last color which we have used was this pink one. Okay, 
and I'm just going from the opposite direction and paint couple leaves. It looks so cool, like I think also for a summertime as well. A really beautiful design. And easy, like it's not as hard to paint those type of leaves. Okay, each leaf I'm just going to prolong it a little bit so it has a nicer shape. I don't need any extra product, I'm just dragging the product which I already got in there. Okay, so just make it longer. And then we are going to sprinkle it with the clear acrylic powder. Are we? Or are we going to do sugaring? Let's do sugaring. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm changing my lines and we'll use some sugar. Uh, not this one, this one there. I think it will look just even prettier. You could leave it um, and apply it, um, no glitter stuff on it, it will look really nice. I decided to go for a glitter. And then give it a cure. The glitter is only going to stick in into the places where we've got the gel polish. We've got also different types of the sugar. I want to use this one too. And this one. But you could also use clear acrylic powder as well. Okay, let's do the design on this one now. So for a change, we are going to go more simple. And I'm just going to paint some line in yellow. Another one. Then mixing the yellow with the mint paint another line so basically the same colors which we have used before just a pure mint one wow that actually looks really pretty already Mint with the blue. I actually love this one. I wanted to do some dots in there, but I think I'm just going to keep it the way it is. It looks so beautiful. So simple, but wow. Well. And another one, and the last one on the top. Here I'm just going to fade it a little bit with the mint. I love it, I do really love it, uh, this one. And I'm just going to sprinkle it with the clear acrylic powder for a change. Just so you can see it guys, different results. So simple, so effective. Okay, tap to remove the excess. Wow, I love it. It's funny, you know, sometimes guys, we do something very, very simple and then it's like, oh, wow. <laughs> okay, on this one, we are going to go a little bit more difficult for a change. <laughs> 
So I'm just cleaning my brush and then here I've got some yellow. So I'm just picking up the yellow. You remember when you was in a primary school like the or preschool, we used to learn those kind of different patterns to train our hand. I think it's actually a pretty cool way of learning the nail art designs as well. So it's a good exercise. Okay, we have painted the first one. The next one, I've got those uh, yellow and a mint. No, for a change, do a line. Cool. Then the next one, mint. Don't make those lines too thick, just nice and thin. And the line. So now I've got the blue mixed with uh, uh, mint. <laughs> Okay, then the next one is some, um, oh, I didn't took the purple one. So that's 219. Mixed with blue first. Really don't rush it like because you wanted it to be decent. And I'm really taking my time as well. Okay, then drop more of this purple when we go higher. It's almost like I'm doing ombre with the designs. Okay, then we've got some purple mixed with those pinkish purplish. <laughs> can actually show you guys. It does look like an egg. An Easter egg. Okay, going higher, more of those pinkish color.
I, um, you can see it, I'm twisting both of the hands, like, so I'm working with one hand and other hand, and if I would work on the client, I would hold their finger and I would twist their finger as well. Um, usually when I'm doing anything, like if it is a gel, application, filing, anything um, related to the nails, I do use both hands, like, it's just much quicker and easier, okay? Oh, this is cool actually I love this one as well okay sprinkle it I will just keep the clear I'm got it actually I have done the uh, I will change it probably the other one for a clear acrylic powder as well instead of the sugar yeah it's more pastel than without of glitter so let me actually check them so that's the that's the one we've got in here. And we can place it into our display. The sugar one is ready as well. And now I'm really gutted I have put the glue. I mean, it's completely different look. It looks nice as well. Um, but that's a different style of the design. And I think, I don't, I actually, now I'm confused. I don't know which one is better. You can decide, guys, which one you prefer. The one with the glitter or the one without of the glitter. Okay, let's, let's do quickly another one. So here, we'll use some dots. Dots are cool, huh? Dots are cool and dots are quick. <laughs> so same. I'm going to pick up this mixture. This is good exercise for me because I can paint the flowers, uh, but it is much more difficult for me to uh, to paint the lines and geometric designs. So this is a nice form of the exercise. So notice what I have done in here. I have used those uh, pink and purple one because we've got some pink and purple one and then on the bottom I want to start swapping into the blue. So I'm fading it, getting this ombre look, because I want my line to be ombre-ish as well. So this way I have created an ombre line too. Then I've got some blue going into the mint color. Check always the same height. And then some mint. So this, this can look quite interesting too because of the dots. So with dotting tool, we are going to do the same colors of the dots. So here I've got mint, one, two, three, clean it. Then go into the mint with the blue. You know, the difference is like almost no difference, but... Then mint with the blue. Clean it, just a blue on its own.
blue mix with the purple. Purple. Blue mix with the purple. And then just a purple. And we have created another pattern. Sprinkle it. And cure it. Okay, this one is ready. Let's clean the excess of the acrylic powder and you can see it how nice it is. I love this one so much. It's really cool. Put it into the collection. They do really look like an X. <laughs> Easter eggs. But not necessarily spring, summer, like very universal design. And the last one. Again, very simple design. Hey, look how I'm mixing the colors. And then blue. By doing this motion couple times I'm able to blend it the colors more. Tiny bit purple. And then couple dots. So the more closer to the bottom I'm going here, the lighter purple I got. And more of a bluish. And then pure blue. Okay, so we have used very easy geometric designs, dots and lines to create those cool designs. And I hope, guys, you have really enjoy watching this tutorial and you have learned something new. If you did, let me know in the comments below. You can also put some requests of other uh, tutorials you would like to see, what kind of designs you like as well. And if you're new in here, please don't forget to subscribe uh, as uh, we put the videos up every Monday, Wednesdays and Saturdays. So clean this one. I actually love this one. It's so simple and so beautiful. 
so you can see it, the ones which we... It looks super cool together! <laughs> Amazing. Oh, I've got it. I will need to redo it, guys, for the thumbnail picture. I will do it uh, one with the mat as well, because I think it looks so cool. And then this one as well. Should be curing a bit longer. But I want to show you all of them. Yeah, and sending you lots of glittery hugs and bye for now.